Joa. Joa. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You're right. I'm gonna change my ID to GI Joa, but <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Yo, Joa, uh, this guy from Fox United, you all know who he is. He's won the last two games. He is the hero from Sweden. He is known as, his mother named him, his best friends call him. We call him StarCraft 2. No, he's actually Thorzane. There he is. F United. Thorzane. They were just messing with us, Thorzane. man. I know. They <laughs> didn't, didn't even put introduce the intro him. Up. Down here at the bottom of the map, we don't know if he's going to get introduced or not. He's from the team MVP. He used to be cute. Now he's just... MVP, no blessing. Well, you said he hey, needed no introduction, out. so they were like, well, I guess... I guess they heard me, they're like, well, I guess I'm not doing an introduction then. Like, back in the production room, they're like, oh, this makes my life easier. That's right. Joa. Joa, huh? I, I don't know how that came out. I wanted to say GSTL, but then I said Joa, and I don't know. The Doa STL. Who knows? I actually don't really like the ID Doa too much. I've been like telling people that. Yeah, you should probably just change it if you feel I, that way, man. The longer you, you go know, with Doa, the more people are going to know you as Doa. I know. It was like, I, I kept using it for years and years for first-person shooters and stuff, but I just don't feel like it's the best RTS ID. I don't know. I've had other IDs. I don't know. Tweet me at DOASC. <laughs> at least for tell, now. <laughs> tell me if I should keep my ID or change it. Tweet at uh, FXO Wolf. Tell him if he should, I don't know, keep his ID or change it. And uh, follow... <laughs> At GOM TV for all your GSL news. They actually update there almost before anything else. So it's a yeah. great site to follow, or a great yep. ID to follow there because if you're interested in little announcements like little things you find on uh, the front page of Team Liquid, they usually get found out first on the uh, GOM TV Twitter. Yeah. Also follow Mr. Che, uh, head of esports here, a uh, Korean commentator as well, WoW in StarCraft. Yes. Does WoW, letter N and then StarCraft. Mr. Che is an awesome guy. He is an awesome Very guy. Very funny. If you heard uh, me and him coaching John through some uh, ladder <laughs> games during the Kodak qualifiers, you'll know that he's uh, a lot of fun to hang out with. Yeah, he is. Yep. Well, we're going to have a Reaper expand here Yeah. from Thorzane. And, of course, yeah. this is against a Gas first opener. And Noblesse, with his Gas first opener, if he goes Banshees, he can really punish the Reaper expand. When you, with a Reaper expand, you get Stim immediately after your first Reaper, so you can to help deal with those Banshees in most cases. Um, because if you don't get that fast Stim, when the Banshees come in, your Marines are just useless. Yeah, you, you don't, don't have, have a Viking, many of them either, too. It gets so. bad. I'm curious to see if he's going to go Blue Flame, though, too. I'm, I think it is probably going to be Banshees. Yeah, there's a Starport, so it will be. But we've seen so many turn players get Blue Flame really, really fast. Everybody's mecking these days. Uh, so I wonder what Thorzane's going to do. Well, it looks like Thorzane is not going to get Stim. He's going to tech up immediately once he get that Viking out. The problem is, when that first Viking of Noblesse gets there, he's not going to have very many Marines, and he's not going to have Stim, he's not going to have an eBay, so it gets really scary. But he is going to be prepared for this when he gets his Reaper up here, yeah. assuming that it gets in, which it looks like it very well, you know, well very likely will. He's going to he be able can, to see what's going on. If he can get out a Viking, you know, and and, uh, and then he can get out a scan, you know, he'll do just fine. Taking out, out a mule. I don't know what I'm saying. Yep. Get a meal there, that is always helpful. And uh, Reaper versus Hellion, the Reaper actually wins if it's a straight up fight. And even if it's not like a straight up fight, that Reaper's gonna escape with two hit points. Wow. That Reaper was like dancing back and forth. He actually shot the barracks once on his way down. <laughs> Did you see that? He was like, and here's Reaper's one for my style. grandma, and throws it and leaves. <laughs> oh, and then he dies to a Hellion. You guys missed it. Oh, well. He was like Rambo Reaper. Um, well, interestingly, here. Thorazane is going for a blue flame, which is quite powerful, but his starport is a little bit delayed for that reason. The yeah. first Banshee, when it gets to his base, he is going to have probably about four Marines, none of them with Stim. It's going to be very difficult to deal with. It's not going to be cloaked, but just that one Banshee itself is going to do so much damage until the Viking gets out. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting to see if Thorazane can actually... Especially because fight. Noblesse is going to poke up here with these first group of units, and that's going to do a ton of damage. Oh, well. oh, only two Marines and one Hellion for Thorazane. This could actually be devastating. And the Hellion's lining up for Thorzane as well. So be very careful. Yep. Uh, Noblesse does like this early push with the Marines and the Hellions. And but there is a Banshee coming yep. in from behind. This is going to be the scary part. There are only two Marines. He made a reactor, so he lost even yeah. more Marine building time. It's like the perfect storm. Yeah, this is looking really bad. Not only can he kill wow. these Marines, but he can kill the Hellions as well. And when that ramp goes down, more Hellions are going to come into uh, his base. Wow, uh, Thorazane may just actually be dead. He's, he's going to have one tank popping out here, I think. Yeah, 
No, that's a Hellion. Okay, that's bad. All right. Wow, so the Hellions are going to try to micro. He does have blue flames, so it's going to help a little bit there, but is it going to be enough that Banshee doing so much damage but does get taken out? Thorazin's going to, like, barely hold here. Yeah, just the timing of that Viking coming out was just in time. Of course, blue yeah. flame really helpful as well. He was able to micro those Hellions back and keep them alive. If he hadn't, he would have been in a ton of trouble, but good control by Thorazin. And now Thorazin actually takes quite an early lead having that earlier command series and go ahead and drop that at the natural. He's getting a Raven out. He's going to be completely safe. He also has an eBay. And I think both these players from here are going to be mecking. Yep. That's Especially kind of the Thorazin. These days. Adding a second factory, using a reactor there. Already having blue flame. He's in a really good spot, not only economically, but also with tech. Yeah. And he just barely, barely had enough. That was a pretty close call. Yeah, that was about as close as you can cut it. Um, a lot of times, you know, you've mentioned this too in the past, a lot of mirror matchups largely go down to how greedy can you be, you know, and get away with it. And he was, he cut it about as close as he could. Really nice control on his Hellions. He repaired them though. Yeah. And when you're Thorzane, when you practice a ton of games and TVT and you've done this build so many times, you know how greedy you can be. I'm sure he's been in the same situation. Time and time again, a gas first, Banshee opener is pretty common. I was impressed with that hold though. Yeah, really impressive. Thorzane is just impressing me today, man. He's just an impressive guy. He is impressive. He's got two wins already today. If he can take down Nobles, it's actually quite an accomplishment. He would be taking down a Code S Terran. A newer to Code S Terran, but he's in Code S. It's not easy to get in there. No, it's not. One of the hardest things in the world to do. Yeah. Did you know more people have climbed Mount Everest than gotten into Codes? That is actually probably true. I think that's true. I, I, I don't know. Well, over the years, since 1950 or whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> probably, and Thorzane, is he going to be able to squeeze her on the back? Looks like he doesn't want to risk it. And that Banshee is certainly going to make him run away now. Yeah. I keep seeing those Hellions driving around. I keep thinking about Speed Racer. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, man. They call them race cars, and uh, they are apparently both in the Russian client and in the Chinese client. Yeah, clients. kind of look like race cars a little bit. Looks like Thorzane's going to be ready for this drop. That Viking should spot it, and he does have some Hellions at his base as well. Uh, is he going to spot it? Depends on the um, path. Oh, I don't know, actually. He is going to see oh, it. Oh, he will. Okay, good. But he's not going to be able to stop these Hellions from dropping out, I don't think. Nope. He does have some waiting, though. He did at least a moment ago. Yep, there we go. He's going to be able to take down those Hellions as they pop out. And the angle, it all depends on the angle, and yeah. it looks like it's actually going to be a little bit well, he, better. He did that really for badly. Less. Wow, yeah. Yeah, that was not good. Ooh. Vikings landing here trying to clean this up. And those, wow, those Hellions are killing a lot of SCVs. Well, that was a lot of SCVs killed. During all of this, 11. Um, Thorazane had the ability to use his own Hellions to attack the south base, but decided not to. Well, Nobles has got a really good setup down there at the Naturals, as you can see. Um, down by the mineral line, he's even got a supply depot blocking it off so that he can't run behind it. So, you know, Nobles basically doing pretty much everything right this game. Um, Thorazane, though, he's going to try to take a third. He's probably just going to sit back, play defensive, play Thorazane style. It's worked for him two games already. So why stop now? Why do you go being targeted down here by Hellions? We're gonna have a Hellion battle. This is what next TVT has become. It's a lot of Hellions. And here we go. The angle's gonna be good. Hellion versus Hellion is so weird. But it's like weird. it's gonna be just fine. That was so the numbers big of a number. game. Yeah, the numbers game really played into yeah. Thorazane's hands there. But like you were saying, yeah, he had a pretty good position on the Hellions, even though they're better. Yeah, well, you're back to win. You can see large groups of Hellions getting taken out by much smaller groups if the angle ends up being, you know, favorable for the smaller group. I mean, yeah, you saw even with that drop, things were like that. Really. Yeah. Well, right now, I'll give you guys some numbers. We've got seven Vikings out for Noblesse, of five Vikings of Thorazine, 17 Hellions for Thorazine, nine of Noblesse, and two tanks out for Noblesse, no tanks for Thorazine. So those are kind of the key numbers there. Well, uh, something else I'd, I'd like to know is that there are four Ravens. That's for Thorazine. That's actually really, really good. The auto turrets are really useful. You can get point defense drone, and as we saw the other day, on your seeker missile, man, it's it's more useful than people are thinking. And I think now we're finally going to start to see that research pretty often. 
I agree. It's becoming more popular in these late game situations. Yep. I would say this is a late okay. game situation, but you know some of the ones it, we've seen recently. Right, when it gets to the late game, right. that's yeah. You you normally don't see it at this time in the game. There's not really a whole lot of usefulness to it at this point. You might you know you might get like lucky with a mineral line or lucky with like a group of hellions, but yeah, you don't really need it until you get those big big Viking numbers. So these hellions thought they could sneak in, but uh, Thorazine was on top of that. Yep. Not getting in at all. The answer is no. Now, Thorzin has a third base up. He's had it up for a little while. Noblesse just now getting his up, so a little bit behind in that regard. Of course, Thorzin up to about 10 supply. Viking count even for these guys. Two Thors out for Noblesse. That's going to be really important when the Viking battles start to occur. And that one Banshee to rule them all, though, is going to hang out here for a little while. Remember, the Banshee doesn't have a cloak. Yep. Hey, look at this. Thorzane has a good amount of Vikings, a good amount of Ravens, one Banshee himself as well. And, uh, you know, Thorzane, the one thing that he hasn't really been making a lot of is tanks. So, this is kind of that. Uh, in fact, he doesn't have a single tank right now. So Sky Terran. Yeah. Look at this. That, adding uh, two build. more starports as well. Very, I think very we may cool. see a Fusion Core pretty soon. You know, we may not even see a Fusion Core. We might just see massive amounts of Vikings and Ravens. I mean, he... He actually, I believe he lives in the same team house that Morrow does in Sweden. I might be wrong, but I believe he does. And Morrow loves to go just Viking Raven late game TVT, so. Uh oh, who knows? You might see that. Some SCVs. And they're going to get cleaned up and out before they kill nearly every SCV in this third base. In TVT lately, you really need to be on top of your SCV production because you're just going to lose a lot of them no matter what, you know? It's inevitable. You're going to lose a lot of SCVs in TVT these days. Well, Interestingly, rather than battle cruises, I think what's more viable option in this case is going to be just banshees. That's what Thorzin has made. He does oh, have man. three banshees at a time in production here. He has to be very careful with these Thors. Yeah, that's the only thing about going just heavy, heavy air Terran is that you do become very, very vulnerable to Thors, especially like you said, if you're not getting battle cruisers. So, can Thorzin split well enough? Well, Kenny Wolf. I don't know. Kenny? We're about to find out. Oh, that's interesting. Viking's yeah, that's landing very to take out one of the choice. starports. And that is going to give up the air advantage, more or less. The Thoris firing at all the Vikings and the Ravens. A lot of point defense, dro go point defense drones going down. It's going to soak a lot of the Thor shots. And look at that. The Banshees taking out some of the Thors. But, you know, are the PDDs going to last? This is actually ridiculous. Yeah, those PDDs could go all day against those Thors, man. Banshees killing Vikings on the ground, Thors on the ground. Yeah. And Thorzane doesn't even have plus one weapons. This is like the weirdest PvP fight I've ever seen. Yeah, this is so silly, man. This, it's working, though. It's like everything's just standing still, but lots of damage is happening. Banshee's focusing down that Thor. He's got to be careful. Wow, and that, that may have ended the game. Yeah, that is the power of point defense drone. Look at these two Hellions, too, going to come over here. The oh, SCVs are completely look at that. undefended. Hellion surrounding or SCVs rather surrounding the Hellions. And why do you need battle cruisers when you have Banshees? I don't think you do. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't have enough energy for another point defense drone though, so he's gonna have to rely only on his Banshees on their own with yep. the Vikings. r Thors around here though, so he can stack up all he wants. Well, the big thing too is that Noblesse landed all his Vikings to kill that yeah. starport. That was a, a terrible decision. You never ever want to do that. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't understand his thought process behind that either. Now, these Vikings are going to be landed, but this time it's okay. Well, actually, he's not going to land them. He's going to use the Banshees because he has so many of them. Whoa! Oh, the no! Thor getting some nice big shots against those Banshees. Now all the Vikings are landing. This time it's appropriate. Yeah. He can always just lift up and get out. There's not a fleet of Vikings waiting for him yep. at the top. And here come all the tanks. Can he catch the tanks off guard? He's going to want to lift those Vikings. Oh, good job lifting those before the tanks siege up. He now the Banshees are actually going to target strong. down these tanks. Yeah, wow. He, oh, he's actually going to land on the Vikings. That's a bit of a risky move, I think. Uh, a little bit strange, and losing oh. all of his Banshees there. Um, and now going to be losing a lot of Vikings as well. Oh, man. Well, you can all see right. with this new style evolving, you see a lot of experimentation even in these yeah. games. Where yeah, like, I'm not really is. sure what to do in this situation. You know, it wasn't like the worst decision ever, I guess. Oh, that's a good decision. Killing a lot of SCVs in the third base. And they're pretty much all going to die. Oh, the SCV manity. Huh. 
some supply depots. Yep, might as well. Gap. Gonna run out of there as soon as the tanks arrive. Now Thorzane's taking the gold as well. And, uh, you know, if he can build up energy on those Ravens again, if he can play defensively, he can certainly hold it. Still not making any tanks. He's very dedicated to this Air Terran style. This is so cool to see, man. Well, it's weird that he hasn't gotten plus one weapons for his error until just now. He's just starting it. And there's, uh, you know, yeah, it is. Oh, four SCVs dying. Thorazine just crippling the economy of MVP and Obelas. Obelas is never able to move out either. Yeah, what's the SCV count right now? It's 72, 72 to 30. 30. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Two BCs in production. Yep. He's going to use those. He may want to get weapon refit so he can take out those battle cruisers. Yep. I mean, I'll actually not battle cruisers, Thoris. That's actually a lot of Thoris. He's going to need those point defense drones. Here we go. Thorazay moving in right now. He's dropping a couple point defense drones. It looks like Nobles is going to commit to this. A lot of Hellions in there not doing a ton of damage to the mech, but they do soak the siege tank damage at least. Hellions yeah. is doing so many da so much damage because they stack up. Yeah. They're tanking a lot of hits. The bike joining in wow. here as well. Looks like they may just be enough. That one bike wow. is doing a dance. Wow, wow, wow. We might see Thorazane take out three players in a row here. We just might. 123 to supply to 77 right now. He's starting to get quite a big lead. This switch to battle cruisers is always a very tenuous point in TVT. That's like the point where your opponent has a chance to come back, even if he is behind, Ooh. just because it takes so much uh, resources. Weapon refit being researched. He is yep. going to try to use that Yamato cannon on some of those. Uh, oh. battle, I mean, I keep saying battle cruisers. I mean, say Thor's and and looks like Thorzay might be losing some SCVs this time. It's his turn, man. It's time to fry. <laughs> Your turn to fry. That's right. Very appropriate to say in this scenario. It is. And all of the SCVs literally taken out here. Thorzane oh. not reacting at all. Yeah, I mean, Thorzane's still ahead in terms of SCVs, but that's going to slow things down a little bit. He's got the gold, and that's like the, the big part of it, you know? Yeah. The big now, thing. Right now, three battle crews and two bikes being produced at a time. For Thorazine. That's a lot of money being spent. Only Thor's and Vikings coming out for yeah. Noble S. He's about to have six battle cruisers out on the map. Um, once you get to that point, it becomes very, very difficult for your opponent to do anything about it. Um, huh, but interesting. You will see that. Now, it looks like Noble S is just trying to produce as many Vikings as he can. I mean, that's I guess, the best idea, but with the amount of Ravens that he has, I just can't see those Vikings doing any damage. Yeah, he's got three Ravens. In fact, they've all got full energy. Yeah. This is going to be pretty tough. Now, he does have a lot of Thors. The Thors are going to soak up a ton of point defense energy with four shots per volley. We are seeing a lot of scans here. These players trying to reposition their armies. We are going to see some battle cruiser action. The weapon refit is done. Some we of know. these battle cruisers have enough for Yamato. Oh no, Hellion's getting in and roasting all the SCVs at the gold base. I don't think it's going to be enough for Noblesse to come back, but it will certainly slow down, slow down Thorzane. Manser getting taken out. And wow, so what I tell you, man, a lot of SCV death in TVT these days. 44 SCVs to 36 with Thorzane in the lead, but that's not going to be the case for much longer if these Hellions have their way. Yeah, well, Thorzane's got a much stronger army right now that does help. These Hellions are going to get chased away a little bit, but they're still going to kill a lot more of the SCVs in Thorzane's third base. Man, what's the what's the workers killed for this map? Uh, workers killed. <laughs> 93 workers killed for Noblesse, 52 killed for Thorzane. Wow. But so the worker count is even. You can see Thorzane just have, having made so many more workers in general. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's kind of cute the way that Cute is doing this. Making a lot of Hellions, trying to kill a lot of SCVs, but... You know, he's going to need to make something else that's going to do well against the army of Thorzane. And right now, you know, all he has is a good amount of Thors. He has Vikings. He has basically has Ooh. everything that can be nullified with point defense from Here right comes the attack. Yeah. These battle cruisers, the majority of them having enough for Yamato. We may actually see Yamato's inside. Maybe. Every do time it. I say that, we don't. I hope we do. I love watching the Yamato cannon. Remember these... Vehicle, or these ships are at 1-1 one, one upgrades as well, whereas Noblesses have no upgrades. All right, here come the Thors. Point defense, defense drone is up. Drone. Are we going to see some Yamatos? He wants yeah. to leapfrog those point defense drones closer to the Thors. And I just absolutely love this. Thors ain't playing so patiently right now. Yamato's going off, hitting that there Thor. 
Wow, Thorazane is just playing incredibly today. Well, look at this. He is, he is rushing to... through, man. Moriamato taking out the Vikings. That is going to be about it. Yeah, the final Vikings falling. Porno wow. Blast GG. The crowd goes wild. I'm going wild, man. Has taken out three F United players. Look at that guy right there. That is a winner. He could very well all kill F United. That would only be the second time ever a foreigner all killed a Korean team. Yes. First time was your teammate. Oh, taking yep. a bow. Look at that. Man, the crowd is just loving this. And, you know, really, he's not only winning, he's showing us really exciting games, too. The team looks very happy. You can see the yeah. pleased faces there. Well, I don't think anyone was expecting something like this, but you know what? I wasn't, man. You know what, Wolf? We may see the final boss. It's closing time. There he is, the final boss, Dong Rei Gu. He's looking at this going, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, yeah, talk about a lot of work ahead of you. I mean, you have to not only take out Thorazane, who's been just playing brilliantly, doing a lot of very different things, um, and then you've got to take out all the other players. I mean, we've still got Naniwa left, we've still got Moon left, Lin. Soccer. Soccer? Probably not going to send out soccer. They could send out three. If they have to go through all three, who do you think they're going to send out? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say Naniwa and Lin for sure. Yeah. Um, and then most likely Moon. I agree, I agree. Um, yep. But well, we actually only have team. we only have two more players they could send out, so they're gonna have yeah, they're right. gonna have to send. I think they'll do Naniwa, maybe Moon rather than Lin. Uh, Soccer has had trouble in Starcraft Two, but the thing about Soccer is he's been training for Starcraft Two, whereas Lin and Moon yeah. haven't trained for Warcraft Three for WCG, so they haven't been playing Starcraft Two. So it's a I, I, we'd have to like go uh, ask them really. Literally. Well, here's here's the interesting thing with that is that well we're, we'll wait for that we're gonna see who they actually send out next we know it's gonna be the final boss has to come out man is this an alternate ending or something i don't, I don't think so all right man. here he comes are they just messing with us oh, oh genius mvp genius this is an alternate ending i guess so this is like where you like don't save the one uh, player or whatever and like you get the bad ending but this could be the good ending for mvp who knows it's not the bad ending. You know what I mean. It's just an alternate ending, man. Alternate ending. That's right. You still get the entire credits. Genius. Wow. I expect to see good things from him here today. It's PBT. I've often said this on cast, but Genius is a player you can never predict. Yes. He'll Nexus first or five gate all, and you just don't know. Yeah, I mean, he won BlizzCon last year. He's got a long history of owning Terran players. He's got his work cut out for him today, but he's had a chance to sit down and watch Thorzane. He knows Thorzane, play, Thorzane plays very passively, but you know, can he use that to his advantage? Because Thorzane not only does that passive play, but he also is active about scouting around the map, so it's going to be hard to take hidden bases and things. I don't know. Thorzane has just been playing so well today. It's I, I really want to see what map he's going to pick, but before we can do that, we have to take a five-minute break. We'll see you guys when we get back. When we get back, Thorzane versus Genius. <laughs> 